come up with an equivalent expression to the one that they give us below. x squared minus 6x is equal to 27. And for us to do this, family, we're going to have to complete the square. And one thing to be mindful of is sometimes they're going to give it to us as a trinomial like this, where we have to go ahead and isolate that C term. But in this problem, they already moved the C term. So as a result, we take half of the B term, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so we add this on both sides. Now, when we break this trinomial down, we just need to divide b by 2. So we know x minus 3 squared is what gives us that trinomial, and we bring down 27 plus 9. And with this, we know that the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice number 2. But let's say they wanted you to actually solve this. So we have x minus 3 squared is equal to 36. So we come in here and take the square root to get rid of the exponent. We have x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 36, which is 6. So now we know x is equal to positive 3 plus or minus 6. That's the equation that'll give us our answers. So x is equal to 3 plus 6, meaning x is equal to 9 for our first answer choice. And x is equal to 3 minus 6, meaning x is equal to negative 3 for our second answer choice.